what is up you guys it is a brand new day hopefully you guys are having an amazing marvelous day and if you're not you know the drill let's leave that negativity let's release that and let me bring some positivity into your life enjoy this video stay tuned because as you can tell in the title of this it's a vlog you're going to be coming with me on a lot of adventures i have a lot of stuff planned for example right now i just literally finished working out as you can see i'm fully sweaty i am literally <sighs> worked out for the day i am so proud of myself that i did that because i have been slacking it feels good to finally get back into the workout i'm gonna bring you guys along with me on furniture shopping you guys are gonna be like furniture shopping for what like what the fuck are you furnishing you don't even have your own place yeah i know so <laughs> this is for the podcast let's talk pendejadas many of you guys should know season one ended not too long ago meaning that we are starting season two very very soon we just need to redecorate the podcast as mentioned we've been trying to do that the stuff we've been trying to get has not been working out even the wallpaper that i put up does not look good so yeah i am currently here at their house because i had to work out and i am currently just going to change and head to furniture shopping to furniture shopping because we already know an idea of how we're trying to like um we are trying to accomplish how we want it to look so so far it's going well we have a photo shoot soon as well so you guys are gonna be so shook of how bomb like it's gonna look so that's exciting i am gonna be taking a look at the furniture you guys are probably gonna be like where's danny isn't he supposed to like go with you so you could see no bitches today danny and alan actually have a cute little disney date that they're gonna be going to so bitch danny has already done so much for the podcast like trying to figure out the logo and then trying to figure out how it's gonna look because he has more of the creative mind personally for me i am gonna be responsible to seeing which ones have the best pricing for furniture because you already know i like to get a good bargain <laughs> but with that being said guys come along with me and let's go furniture shopping okay so change of fucking plans so instead of doing that i'm actually deciding to clean the podcast room only because why am i gonna go take a look at the couches when like we don't even have an idea of like the link that we need and stuff and i think it's just better that me and danny go together just so we could go all in one place and we don't have to go driving around like everywhere and we could actually both get our input like with each other at the moment to see what we think about the product so this is the perfect timing to basically clean up this area mop sweep literally get a toothbrush and clean the fuck out of this place just because girl it's time it's been a minute since i have done that so i think this is going to be the perfect timing to do it handy dandy cleaning with irma oh my god our sign this is literally our sign that we would put up and then once we moved to that corner we haven't moved it back but if you guys remember the sign y'all know just keep an eye out it's gonna look so dope it's gonna look amazing be aware be on the watch out so let's get started with cleaning up this room and let's stay hydrated because girl whew. it's gonna be a little hot in here for a minute let me show you guys a little round of what the room looks like currently so this is the front door when you enter and then this is the shelves the wife well, just place the light there danny's desk just the wall the window and then the corner of this room and then the whole mirror closet i have a mop with the little bucket already the broom and the picker upper a swiffer where i'm gonna attach the cloth to kind of clean the walls so this is what i'm gonna be using to clean the room with some swiffers and some rolls
so I am halfway there. I already did half of the room. So the desk was supposed to be there. The shelves are supposed to be here. Now I need to clean this side of the room. Huge change, huge difference from how it looked like. I feel like it's more echoey. It is a brand new day. Literally, I've just been having like so much fucking bad luck. I don't know what is going on with me. I don't know what is going on with my life. But I have been literally at Alan's and Nanny's house only because guess what many of you guys already know many of you guys don't but my car fucking broke down again bitch again i'll explain that all later but as of right now i came to pick up my sister we are actually on our way to go to her middle school because she is going on to middle school she graduated sixth grade going on on to seventh grade so this is very exciting i remember when i went and it was just <sighs> it was just memories so I can't wait to go back to the same school that I went to but let's go and get her basically I think it's her ID that she basically needs so and the paperwork this is the first time in like years that I've walked down these aisles and literally everything still looks the same but like it's remodeled of course but like I remember sitting here like on these trees hanging out we'd go down these halls that's the cafeteria that they upgraded this is like the science classes right here that I remembered. I graduated high school in 2016, meaning that I graduated 16. my middle school 2012. It's been 10 years since I've been to middle school, bitch. You guys, so this is literally where I would come hang out during lunch. Remember that story when I told you guys like a friend was making me throw away her trash? Well that's where the situation happened and they remodeled it and put fucking benches so i'm gonna get started with getting her subscribe like registered they got the first signature we're heading to the second tent the only reason why she's fully covered and everything is because as mentioned she's had a kidney transplant and she has to take care of her skin she cannot be exposed to too much sun so that's the reason why she's fully covered up and you know what me too i'm gonna be here with her so second station here we come we made it to the second station which was to i think get the uniforms but the thing is my mom didn't tell me and we didn't know and honestly i don't have any of my cards right now because i'm dealing with a little situation she's gonna have to come back on the first day or even tomorrow to get her shirt other than that we skipped station two and three and now we're headed to station four we literally only need one more station which is the textbooks and we're practically done this is actually a much easier like and more organized way that i've experienced so far since i was in middle school but other than that guys literally they literally changed the whole thing like they never had these they always just had like the tents and like the solazo that we would get horrible I just I wish they had more like greenery but it's a school what do you expect they want us to look like we're in prison oh my god this is where I would get all my snacks Bitch, I would get all my hot Cheetos and my nacho cheese here oh iconic ass times and then one other memory I had before they had these was I remember a girl came up to me and she wanted to fight me because she thought I was trying to steal her man which I kind of was but yeah guys that was a little drama so there's little drama like locations that i had when i was here in middle school and i was just being a little innocent little girl but that was fine we went through all the stations and i have been carrying her bugs she's soon gonna be carrying these herself so just being the kind gesture of a sister are you excited are you nervous nervous but excited and you guys see my sister be nice don't be a little fucking asshole but yeah guys so this is very exciting we got her schedule and she is gonna end up taking stem robotics which is something very new that i never really heard of which is four quarters each quarter is a different class and then in eighth grade she's able to take a full year of just cooking class so the scheduling has been a lot different ever since i've been here it's okay as long as she's happy with her classes which she is then I think we're set for the year. And then also they're not enforcing the uniforms. So this is the first year where they're kind of like more lenient. So that's gonna work out a lot and it's gonna be less, less of a cost, meaning that we don't need to buy uniforms. But yeah, guys, so ya nos vamos. And I just need a shower because she's a little dirty. What is up? All right, so it's a brand new day. 
I am here at home as you can see not the usual spot where I'm at at the lamb's house I know I've been there a lot lately but it's because I've just been only dealing a lot of issues with my car and the place that I go take my car at the dealership is like right there you guys are probably gonna ask what the fuck how the fuck did you even get to your house you Uber it no I actually borrowed Alan's car. He was a kind soul and he let me borrow his car just so I could get some things done here at home. The reason why I'm back here at home is because, as you can tell, that box right there, that is my nukamita. Not too long ago, I actually ended up breaking my fucking bed. My fat ass. Yeah, I broke my fucking bed. <laughs> And I've been meaning to get a new bed frame, so I ended up deciding to get a new one on Prime Day, which is 50% off on most of the things, which was this. And I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna fucking get it. This is the reason why, because literally it broke and I'm using that to kind of halter it up. Literally when I'm sleeping, like my body's like this. It's not comfortable. So with that being said, I'm gonna end up building that, cleaning up my whole area right here at the by the bed. But I need breakfast. I have not eaten. I worked out, but I have not eaten it. And I'm looking getting really nauseous. I've noticed that when I wait too long to eat, I get nauseous. I'm gonna end up having a roll, one hand roll. I got this yesterday at Ralph's. I love their sushi. I don't care what people say, it's good. I like it, so that's all that matters. But this is the roll I'm gonna be eating right now. It's a lot, so. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> so you take the thing and you grab it. You grab it, but gentle, not to get callous, it's not pretty. Okay, and then you look him dead in the eye and you say, Mm. <laughs> mm. Chef's kiss, bitch. I love handles. I just love sushi in general. I like wasabi, but sometimes, you know, it could be a little too overwhelming for me personally. I just put a little bit. Mmm. Mmm. And the last time that I got sushi from Ralph's, they had fucking Connie salad. If y'all don't know what that is, oh, you guys are crazy. Connie salad is basically like the, the imitation crab with like veggies, like carrots and like cucumber with like some sauce and sesame seeds. And like, it's just so fucking good. It's been all over TikTok, I think. I even made it once, I think, but it was so fucking good. But now my tummy is happy for right now. I'm not getting nauseous no more, which is good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm honestly not that picky when I choose my sushi. Like, I'll eat anything. <laughs> Except oysters. Yeah, oysters. I won't have oysters. And lobster. I'm not a fan of lobster. Scallops, I love. Scallops, amazing. All the core tuna salmon shrimp eh, eel eh, eel sauce i'm not a fan of i do not like eel sauce i'm gonna finish this up i'm just gonna eat this one roll side because i get filled up with just one and i'm gonna save this other half for like a snack later or for my lunch later just because i don't know what the plans are later if we're gonna go to korean or if we're gonna go somewhere i don't know but anyways i'm gonna finish this up and i'll get started with arranging my bed this is the bed that we're trying to get rid of it is a twin bed as mentioned i share a room with two other siblings yes i know chaos i'm trying to get there if you guys continue supporting i could eventually get out of here so overall this is the plan getting rid of this fucking bed frame cleaning up the area here because i know i haven't cleaned under this bed for who knows how long and i don't even know what the fuck i stuffed under there especially with my sister's dog he does a lot of shit under there so let's see what kind of surprise he leaves us It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I removed the beds, the colchon, the big base, and then a small base. 
I'm fat, okay? If y'all know, when you're overweight, you kind of have to have the extra support from the base. So this won't collapse because it has collapsed on me once. I think it was this, no, it was this one that collapsed on me. So my dad fixed it. And now that corner collapsed on me. Look, I'm not trying to justify myself, but I'm gonna justify myself. The reason why this bed just kept on breaking is because when my parents got this when I was probably like in high school still, and it was for kids. Like, this is literally for a kid's room. And since my parents didn't have enough money and they needed to get two, they were like, you know what, cheaper option. It's fine, my daughter's fat, but we just gotta buy an extra base for her and we're set. But now it's time. I'm over this frame. It's so bulky, it's so like out of the way. It's just in the way. removing the bed frame i'm still keeping these of course this is what the mess was under my fucking bed i for sure need to fucking vacuum that's fucking probably dips piss um yeah this is definitely a situation This is really tall. Loki, this is really tall. Like, it's taller than my sister's bed. I feel like I'm the princess who slept on a pee and couldn't sleep. I literally have my legs dangling from the fucking floor. I can't even tip it to the floor. Like, <sighs> for sure what I'm gonna do is remove the bottom base, which is the thickest, so. Okay, this is the bed fully set. The reason why I got this is because there's so much space on the bottom and that's what I need. My closet space is very limited now. So yeah, I'm just gonna clean up this mess that I left on my sister's bed, put my stuff away, organize a little bit, and we are practically done. Alrighty, so as you can see, I have my situation situated. I still have a lot more room down there, but other than that, I'm really happy with the frame. I'm happy with the tallness. I'm slightly sweating, but good thing I have some AC in this room. But overall, guys, I'm gonna shower because Loki, your girl smells. And I'm gonna head back to Ellen's and Danny's house to start editing one, this vlog, and then two, some reels or TikTok for Let's Talk Banehada. So, once again, keep an eye out.
keep your eyes peeled for season two what is up you guys hi i know long time no see but i am currently literally walking to the dealership currently because once again my car is fucking up they fixed the situation and it's gonna be 460 dollars not bad but it's just obnoxious you know what? i'm not gonna complain i'm not gonna complain i'm glad that i was able to at least take care of it and it was something that i was able to handle but apart from that they literally sent me a whole list of what else i need done bitch girl i'm about to spend like fucking seven thousand dollars another seven thousand dollars on my car to get it fixed and seven thousand dollars from what i already owe on it this is what i get for having shitty ass credit and you know not saving a good amount of money like i should going on a walk as a pedestrian i see why a lot of people say shit of like people in cars not giving a fuck and you know what i'm gonna apologize to those for me being the asshole of a driver because girl people in cars don't give a fuck if i didn't give a fuck just imagine these other people that almost hit me like there's people honking at me and shit and i'm like girl suck a dick like no but right now i'm currently walking to the dealership i already could hear it why didn't danny and alan take you because they have their own stuff to do bitch and plus i need the walk i'm gonna walk along it's my workout for the morning no biggie i don't have an issue with it it was my choice to come to the dealership walking and plus can i not do stuff for myself i don't always need their help hello i'll see you guys once i get to the dealership with my car my carrito i have it back this is a literally junkyard fucking car but you know what i'm gonna give them props and a thank you because they literally washed my car no in the bed que vergüenza tengo porque mi carro estaba mugrosa so i'm just like fuck like por lo menos me lo limpiaron i'm gonna appreciate that so other than that guys let's get my car started i already talked to the guy he was always really nice to me and actually like understands my situation because literally like it's every single time i do something with my car when it dies when i run out of gas anything my shift gear just locks. It just locks. So, por la próxima, dijo que no me va a cobrar de diagnostic. Hopefully que no pasa nada en mi carro. But I do have a list of stuff that I do need to get done for my car. Ay, qué gusto. Oh my gosh, dude. Me da tanto gusto that I'm officially in my car. Ugh. Oh, the AC. Is the AC working too? Is the AC cold? Wait. Nah. The AC is cold. What the fuck? I haven't had cold AC in a hot ass minute in my car. Oh my God, they literally did the most. I need to suck somebody's dick here cause girl, like they're doing me huge favors here. But you know what? It makes sense because I've been bringing my car consistently. So I feel like they're kind of like, okay, like this is kind of like a give back, like in a way, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just weird. But anyways, I'll see you guys back at my casa. I don't know. Bye. Bye, have a beautiful time. I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm lucky me.